Okay, we have a drop off. My mom went to Walmart, Aldi, I think. That's it. So we have some Gatorade, this apple cider. I don't, don't think I've had this before. Maple brown sugar mini bunt cakes. This looks delicious. Bananas. We have these garlic or peppery garlic green beans that you just, I guess, throw in the microwave. So that'll be good. Okay, look at the size of these blueberries. Like, I don't know if you need context, but like, these are huge. These non-dairy sea salt caramel, these are super delicious. And then these look interesting. They're from Dippin' Dots and they're little fruit pearls. So I don't know if they're actual berries or if it's like berry, fruit, or maybe it's yogurt and fruit. Oh, the AC came on. We have this salad, Kelbeet salad. And then, oh, my mom looks like, it looks like she already like rinsed these, but this is like lettuce and a spring mix. So very healthy things for the most part. Okay, so since these were already thawed, I figured I'd just have one. So it is a brown sugar cake with a maple glaze and I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Okay, delicious. Go buy some and then buy some more and put them in your freezer because you're gonna want these <laughs> during the holidays. Delicious. I wonder if there's an Apple version. Would I know? No, because it can't go anywhere. Um, yeah, anyway, so we're still healing and can't really go anywhere besides home and work. All right, guys, I have really exciting stuff to share with you. It's from the brand ZC. It is a Chinese makeup brand. This is a big thing lately. Uh, I had done a video, oh, actually a few videos with Hersey Beauty and it's just all this like beautiful packaging Chinese made. All the formulas were so good. I still use the eyeshadows every so often. I'll pull out like some of the lip products. Like it's not like, you know, I was really into it because it was like brand new and shiny. Like I still like the products and I use them because they're good. So this one is ZC. I actually had seen them on Amazon as well as another brand I'm gonna share with you called Catkin, which is also on Amazon. And I'd seen the stuff on there, but I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna try it out yet. And then Tara Babies did a video, maybe a couple videos where she talked about ZC. And the one thing that uh, she talked about that really made me wanna try the brand out was the powder, the loose powder. And she says like it was so blurring and like, when she applied it, I actually saw it like blur her skin on camera and I was like, I'm very into that. So I put in the purchase because of that powder and everything else I have to share with you. Um, I've tried about half of the stuff so I can give you reviews and the other things. So honestly, some of it's just so beautiful. I haven't, I just, I can't even get myself to use it. And I am not that person. I am not the person that can't use makeup. I don't buy makeup for packaging. I don't care about packaging. I don't want it to break. I don't want cheap packaging, but like just because something's like really beautiful, like out of all the Hello Kitty collabs that have been done with like makeup, and I love Hello Kitty, but I am not out there trying to buy all the products just because I think the packaging is cute. You know what I mean? Like I have to use it. Otherwise you're just cluttering up my vanity, right? Okay. So the powder comes in a box like this. It is incredibly stunning. And there's a pull tab. And it was just beautifully set in here. Like there was packaging made for it so it didn't break or like get crushed. The box itself, it was a little pushed in, I think because of all the products I had purchased and they tried to put it in one box, but I mean it's still beautifully intact. I guess just I don't even know if I'm supposed to keep all this packaging. I'm not someone that keeps packaging like that, but like oh, everything is so beautiful. Um, and before we get into it, I think the pricing of everything is probably under 50 bucks for most items. A lot of things are around 30. I think 15 to 35 is where most things fall. And then on Amazon, there's 20% off codes. And even when you like shop ZC, you can like Google for like promo codes. So you're never paying, become, it's crazy how good the packaging is, how good it feels, and then the price. Because I think when we feel really luxurious, heavy packaging, it's typically really expensive and you're like, why? Because sometimes, most of the time, the product is not even that great. So this is extremely beautiful. Okay, and then this is magnetized. You can hold on to this for grip if you want, 
but it's magnetized and it's beautiful. Even in the top lid, you'll see a little bit of embossing like stamped in there. This whole thing is so beautiful. I love this, just like this soft peachy shade. The puff feels super luxe, super luxurious. So I only cut off part of the sticker and then I just kind of like do that a little bit and then like some powder will pop out, you can see it. And I just take a brush and it is blurring. I don't know how it does it. This reminds me of way back in the day when HD powders were really, really big, but then they were leaving like a white cast or, and people just weren't using them anymore. This is so silky, so beautiful. When I put it on, it fully blurs like so many things and you feel so perfected. I have it on today. I don't know that you're gonna see it on camera, like, you know, but I love my eye look today. I'm gonna share the eyeshadow palette with you. I also picked up the pressed powder because it looked obviously beautiful. This is the box packaging. Just so incredibly beautiful. You will not even believe this compact. I'm just glad the lighting's pretty good today so it doesn't make everything look cheap. So beautiful. This thing was like encased in like a plastic wrap so it didn't get dinged, but the whole thing, just the detail of everything is so gorgeous even this i like how they use kind of like a faceted chain Ugh. okay this also magnetized look at this there's a slight sheen to this powder so it's very similar to the loose one but this one just has like a very 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 subtle sheen um let me see if i can get it to show up for you no it's super translucent. I feel like when they say translucent, this is like really translucent. I can't remember if they had other shades. I don't think so. These are part of the Palace Identity line. So this like beautiful gold packaging. I saw like their eye pencils, brow pencils. They're stunning. They're all in like gold casing and they all have like a little drop coming off of them. Ugh. Drip, drop, any word, any of those words apply. I'm getting a little violent, I feel. Okay, so next is the blush. I haven't even touched this yet because I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. I, it's so beautiful. Also, because I'm not super into blush, I'm like, like I like blush when I wear it now, but I'm, I don't know. This, I might just either give this away as a gift or I might just keep it to look at, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not one of those people that keeps things to look at them, so I just, ugh, okay. So the exact same packaging as the powder and the powder also had this. It had like a case on top, but I already removed it because I wanted to use it. And now I have to figure out how to remove this without ruining the blush. What is this gloriousness? And I've seen this swatched. It's stunning. You can go a little more peachy brown or you can go a little more pink. You can go blend a little bit of white in. It's just so beautiful. This lipstick, again, haven't touched it. I got shade M01. It's the Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick. <sighs> this box, when I opened this, I, I had a slight release. There was a bit of like, uh, that happened. So beautiful. Like, what is this? What, what in the, I mean, gorgeous. Also magnetic. And it is cut. Okay, hopefully you can see some of the embossing. Okay, so let's talk about what's on my eyes and give you like review review. So this is the eyeshadow palette. It's the British Museum ZC collaboration. There's a whole slew of palettes in this collaboration. They're beautiful. Each, I was getting so distracted by how beautiful the covers were that I, I was like, no, no, no. Pick the colors of eyeshadows that you want and ignore the packaging. But this is the box packaging. Beautiful. This is like raised. This is the actual palette. This is raised. It's very like two-dimensional. It's so stunning. This, there's this gold black on the edge when you open it up you have this kind of cover coverlet 
so stunning and these are the shades i've used this eyeshadow palette for about a week and it just makes me like just makes me do really beautiful creative looks it's so good i have a variety of the shades on my lids today love it i feel like it makes my eyes look pretty green like whenever i do reds pinks uh my eyes go really green and then when i do more of like a purpley uh purpley pink or just purpley tones it might lean slightly like more of a blue tone my eyes are hazel so they just kind of change a lot but when i do red i it just it goes quite green for as like green as my eyes can look so let me give you swatches now there's a variety of finishes in here and there's mattes so easy to use now i don't want you to think like this is like a luxurious palette it's luxurious in that the packaging feels and looks amazing the eyeshadows themselves perform beautifully but you're not gonna get like how do i explain this to you it's not luxurious in the actual eyeshadow formula per se there's a variety of finishes, there's mattes, there's ones that are kind of glittery, kind of shimmery, ones that kind of feel soft, kind of like the ColourPop type shadows, but not as like, not as soft. So, let me see if I can get you close enough. So you have this where it's kind of speckled, that feels kind of like a ColourPop shadow, kind of soft. A lot of these have really beautiful things stamped into them. Hold on. You have a kind of sarcophagus in there you have the eye it's like the eye of horus you have i think this is a scarab just beautiful and then this white one i don't know if it's going to show up but it also has something embossed in it and the mattes blend out really beautifully they're kind of like a dusty formula that kind of blends out really easy and you get a lot of pigment there's a lot of pigment here I love it because there's these reds that I really love. I did an all green look with this like teal and this green. Um, I played around today with like the reds, obviously. So the top row is what I have on the eyes today. I put this in the inner corner and I put this kind of shimmery light, light green on top of it. And these are just other shades in there that I just kind of wanted to swatch for you so you could see. They don't swatch the most beautiful. But when you use them on the eyes, they show up and show out beautifully. Like I have loved every single look I've done with these palettes. I'm gonna show another one to you. So beautiful, so, so beautiful. Okay, so that was palette number five. This is palette number one. And this is what this one looks like. It's so beautiful. The cover or the, I guess the, what do you call it? Is this the cover of the palette? It's raised so it's like rounded off it's like beveled and it's just really beautiful this one also has a really pretty kind of coverlet and these are the shades so this one is basically a warm palette with pops of color on the bottom beautiful so this one really caught my eye because you know I love warm neutrals and these colors up here love a green love these purpley blues so it like really worked out well for me i've also used that palette a lot so i'm going to give you some swatches of colors that i think are just really beautiful so again it has a lot of different finishes i start off all of my eyeshadow looks with an eye base a colored eye base so i think that's why generally my eyeshadow looks a little more vibrant but with these shadows i highly recommend you start it with some sort of colored base even if it's white or you can use an eye primer i think that would look beautiful too but i think because of the way the shadows are they are a little dustier i'm not saying they're they don't have pigment but the pigment is buildable it's kind of like i don't want to be like this is exactly like the makeup by mario shadows but i'm just saying like the way if you're familiar with his palette at first you're like oh that swatch is like okay or like i've applied one layer and it doesn't seem to pop but you just build it and this is how these shadows work and i think that makes a lot of sense being that some of the colors are like really like out there so to build them is very helpful so there's just all the like a variety of kind of warm tones and then these are kind of the pops of color i feel like the light is going to wash some of these out but these palettes are beautiful 
So what you're paying for is, I'm saying that in a way like it's very expensive. They're not very expensive. Like I think on Amazon, these might retail for $30 and you can get like a 20% off on them. So I'll link all the things I shared with you uh, from the ZC site and I'll link them on Amazon if I find them. So what you're paying for is the packaging. It's stunning. You're paying for like the experience of using something so beautiful, but also the the products themselves perform beautifully. I just, I, I would recommend you trying something here. I'd recommend an eyeshadow palette, highly recommend either of the powders, just so beautiful. Lastly, I just wanna share this, I think it's like a bronzer contour shade. Um, it's from the brand Catkin, and I, again, like I mentioned, saw this on Amazon. They have so many of these kinds of brands now, these Chinese makeup brands, and I am here for it. I am here for it, here for it, here for it. I am so excited. So many brands have their products made in China. Like any other country, there's good manufacturers and not good manufacturers. I feel like sometimes Chinese made makeup gets this horrible, horrible like reputation. And that is if you choose to work with a less expensive or less regulated manufacturer. You know what I mean? Like I think these products are amazing everything i tried from hersey was really good catkin this brand actually after i bought this off of amazon they contacted me and asked to send me some stuff and i was like how would they know off of like my amazon i don't know it might have been completely unrelated you know what i mean but i have this on today it reminds me of the hersey packaging and that like just it feels very similar like the way everything is like laid into the palette. It's just beautiful. It says catkin there. And this one also just beautifully embossed. So I use this as a little bit in my eyeshadow, just as to like round out my crease a little bit. I use it as my contour. I use it as my bronzer. I think it's so pretty. Like it's there, but not there. You can definitely see the sculpt here. And it just blended in so beautifully. When I saw swatches on Amazon, I thought, okay, it looks a little cool tone and when I got it in person I swatched it on my hand I'm like this is gonna be like way too peachy but when I actually applied it to my face I think it, it looks it looks really beautiful um, the light today is a little deceiving uh, I am a, probably a little darker and this probably is a little darker let me do a swatch for you guys so that's a swatch of it it just it looks really good on my skin it blends it out really beautifully so I'm excited to try more stuff from them I just don't know when I'm gonna receive it they had initially sent me over just the three items that they wanted to send me. And I looked at them and I was like, okay, the eyeshadow colors were not colors I would even reach for. It was kind of like this like pink, purple, pastel type thing. And I'm like, I'm, I would never put that on my eyes. And the foundation they were gonna send, I think was for oily skin. And um, I can't remember the last few products. Oh, it was just a couple lipsticks, but they were shades that I would not choose. So, you know, I wrote back and was just like, Thank you so much, but I, I would really like to have products that would suit me. And they were like, yeah, no problem, choose whatever you want. So like, I can't wait to like get that in and share it with you. I don't know when that's going to be. The shipping might take a little longer, but I just wanted to let you know that that is incoming and that I am so here, so here for all these Chinese makeup brands um, and for us to try them out. And like, I do have a purchase in with Florisis, Florasis. I don't know how to pronounce the name, I, here's my thing. All these brands are coming out with like the most stunning makeup we've ever seen, right? But I, I'm like not into their English names necessarily. I'm like, mm, they're like, okay. I also have no idea how to pronounce some of them. Like, I don't know. Anyway, um, yes, I have that purchase. And if you're curious about where to purchase that, you can purchase it from Stylevana, which is a retailer I've shot from before. So I was like, felt very comfortable shopping off of the website. The Florist's website itself is also a beautiful website. You can shop from that. But I just think that with Stylevana, I was able to apply some promo codes. So it like dipped the prices a little. So I'm still waiting for that. Don't know when it's gonna come in. Uh, anyway, super excited about all these Chinese makeup brands. And yeah, I just wanted to share them with you. I'll link everything below. See you soon. How do people end their videos? Mine are always so awkward. If you guys could see what I have to edit, I am just so awkward, so awkward. Don't know how to say bye. I wish it was just culturally 
socially acceptable to just like end things which is how I do a lot of my vlogs but anyway bye bye bye